Hello, it's Mrs Knapp here. I thought I would do another observational drawing and this is a still life that I have set up of my purse and keys because I enjoyed doing my last one so much and the process of drawing white on black that I wanted to have another go and a bit more practice with this process. So I've used a piece of card which is cut out to the same size as a page in my May sketchbook and I've used a ruler and a white pencil crayon just to draw around my piece of card there so I've got the same size page that I can then cut out later and stick into my sketchbook. So just as I did with my last drawing, I'm using my white pencil crayon from my Derwent watercolour pencil set directly on the black paper and I'm starting out by sketching out the shape and the form of my purse and then lanyard strap that is just draped over the top of my purse. Now this time you can see that I have used a rubber to just rub out some of my sketchy lines that are a bit too thick and not refined enough. reaching out for this girl who's out of this world believe me she's got a boyfriend he drives her down the bend cause he's 23 he's in the marines he kill me
So I have about finished sketching out all of the shapes that I want just using my white pencil crayon. And now I'm going to use a white gel pen to add some of the finer details like the stitching on my purse and some of the writing on my lanyard. So you can see that the gel pen has really helped me to add some fine extra details and I wanted to show some of these highlighted areas in the rings from my keys but you can see that I'm going back to the edge, the border of my paper because the white gel pen is not drawing very well over the pencil crayon. So I've switched to using this acrylic paint marker pen in white to add those highlighted bright areas of shade on the key rings there and it's working much better. You might have noticed I have to shake it a few times and press down the nib quite hard to get it to work. So this is part of the reason why I didn't cut out my black paper to size before I started drawing. So you can use the border to help you with your shading and just to test and uh, do little practices of your tools and your pens. So in some areas I'm using my finger to sort of smudge out some of my acrylic paint marker pen on the white there. Uh, these I bought from a company called Wish. Um, so they're relatively cheap but they took quite a long time to come. If you don't have um, these, if you wanted to do a similar technique to this, you could use Tipex or a Tipex corrector pen a white corrector pen where you can just use acrylic paint or poster paint with a very fine brush or you can dip um, an old pen or pencil nib into it and try and add some details and highlights that way. I'm using now um, a black pencil crayon to just add the darkest tones uh, so really the shadow around my objects that I'm drawing so around my purse and my keys and some of the darkest tones on my purse so it helps me to create that curved shape of the form of my purse there. I'm smudging in a little bit and uh, I wouldn't normally use a black pencil crayon in this kind of drawing but you might have noticed that the type of black paper that I'm drawing on is actually quite a almost slightly faded black paper so it's not the darkest of black paper so it's a very mid to dark tone on its own so I thought the black pencil was needed to show that darkest shade and those darkest tones in my drawing. 
So now I've about finished and this is my final drawing with the tools that I used to create it. I've included my sharpener because I did have to keep sharpening my white pencil crayon quite a few times and this is important so that I could gain more accuracy in drawing the smaller intricate shapes around my keys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to do some drawing as well. Bye!